Everybody, Guitar Pilgrim here, and today we're gonna play Old Man by Neil Young. Such a beautiful intro, isn't it? And quite hard to actually recreate what Neil Young's doing, but we're gonna give it a try. So grab your D chord. Move all three fingers up, three frets. One, two, three. Remove your middle finger, and here. We have the opening chord for old man Neil Young. Now, make sure to avoid the low E string and the A string when you do your strumming. You want to focus on the top four strings. Here's the basic strumming pattern. Basically, it's down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Very soft. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Play that three times and then slide back to your D chord. One, two, three, it's one, two, three, and back. Next up, what you want to do, instead of just strumming the strings, we're gonna hit the strings like this. So instead of doing this, we have this. Then lastly, see if you can add a hammer-on on the first down strum with your index finger. Hammer-on. Like this. Now we have... And that's kind of the sound that we're aiming for. Now once you get to this D chord, it's one strum. Hammer-on, middle finger. Up, down, up. Make sure to hit the strings. Little finger, E string, remove, up, B string, and remove your middle finger, E string. How does that sound? Started from the D minor 9. Now many people have trouble when to move from the D minor 9 onto the D. When exactly do you have to play the D chord? And there's a very simple trick you can use on the word U. That's where you need to move to the D chord. So it's... Old man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you were. So on the U, that's where you need to go to the D. Then after the second line, we have a short instrumental section. Such a beautiful chord progression. Basically, we have the D chord. F major 7, start with your ring finger. Onto the C, hold your index and ring finger. Onto the G. And back to the D. Now, the strumming pattern is basically the same thing. So start off by just playing the basic pattern. Then, on the C chord, Neil Young plays a nice little riff. Very nice, let's take a close look at that one. So we've got the C chord. Hammer on middle finger, hold the other two fingers. Same thing on the G string. And then remove your middle finger and that's the beginning part, so it's... Now notice I don't just pick the strings like this. Because we want a full and rich sound, so I just hit the strings. Yeah. Kind of like strumming. Okay, then again, hammer on D string, G string, and the G. So together it's... Continue on with the chords. And as you notice, I don't just play the chords with the strumming and that's it. I add all these kinds of embellishments 
very quickly. With the D chord, you can use your index finger. So instead of just strumming the D, you can add a little hammer-on in there. It's quite nice. You can do the same with the F major 7, this time your middle finger. And the C chord, also middle finger. Now the verse basically has the same chords. So at the end of the verse, we have a little riff, a build up to the chorus. Start on the F major 7, it's down, down, up, up, down, and on the last down strum, you want to go to the G. And here we have a little riff. Then a bit faster. And then again, instead of just picking these strings, you want to hit the strings for that full sound. Doesn't need to be pretty or very clean, it's all about the feel. And we're at the chorus, last part we need to learn before we're going to do the play along. Here it is. So we have our D chord, moves on to A minor, E minor 7, index middle finger and use your little finger, 3rd fret on the B string, and lastly a G. Now on the D chord we're just simply going to play down, down, up, 4 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, then on the A minor it's down, down, up, up, down, and on the last down strum you want to play the E minor 7. And it's very important, before you hit that E minor 7, on the up strum make sure to have open strings. It's going to make it so much easier. Then hold your E minor 7 and it's up, down, down, up. And on the last up strum you need to be very fast to your G chord.
And that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, as always a huge thanks to my Patreon supporters and I will see you next time.